you've missed me. I miss you. You know what? I keep getting to work and I'm so busy. I forget to upload and it's just quicker quicker to upload when you have a bigger engine behind you you know what I'm saying it takes me like almost 24 hours or maybe 12 hours for it to upload at home and so I take it to work and then I forget to upload I just get busy and forget how y'all doing I just got my hair done what do you think I wanted to show y'all kabuki kabuki is for when your hair is thin see how my, my part line how it's thinning right there how are y'all doing Hey, Nasky. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. Are you having a good week or midweek? Midweek. Actually, we're past hump day. So, what can I say? But except I need to get my nails done now. I got my hair done. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I'm liking it being shorter. What do y'all think? You can type so much faster and play games so much faster. Okay, so this is going to be, as you saw by the title. July favorites and um yeah so one of my July favorites is my hair because she did a really good job she kept it light for the end of the summer because you know as I go into fall I do darken it up a little bit um, but what we basically did was bring out more low lights so there's some contrast in there but again this area right here I may use my little kabuki and basically what it is is brown eyeshadow I don't really what's in it. I think it actually has some hair fibers. I've seen the commercials, but also uh, Madison Reed had a little um, compact that I got. Same thing. It looked like a blush compact with a blush brush and you just put it right in there and all it does is kind of darken your skin because like if you have a tan or something, that white skin doesn't show through so bad when you're thinning, but anyway. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know what? I feel the need for blush. Do I have blush? I mean, I usually have something from M Cosmetics handy. Let's see if I do. I do. So let me put on a little bit of blush. Oh, the air conditioning just went off. I'm so sorry. Now I know it sounds way too quiet. My husband's just like in there investigating or doing something. All right, so I'm putting on some blush while I'm talking to you guys. So what are some of my favorites from July? Well, I have some unusual stuff that I'm going to bring up today besides just makeup and hair care and stuff like that. Um, I really am liking, I won't go through those first. How about that? Let me put this back. Okay. I have been using, as you guys have seen over and over, this Love Flush. If you can get this probably... I don't know if you can still get it with um, Too Faced, so go look on eBay or Amazon or something, see if you can find this, because this is the one that has a number of, sorry about that flash there, of shadows, I mean, um, color choices, and I'm really, really enjoying being able to do that. You can see which ones are my favorites, because uh, Baby Love is my favorite, and that also kind of tells you which one you want to go buy full size of, right? Anyway, I'm really loving this, and I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, I've also, y'all know that um, my haul and review and then a couple of makeup tutorials of the Lorac Pro Number 2, I really, really am liking this palette. I think it's good coloring for me personally, but it's just also got some really good neutrals over here and then over here, the colors. I really love this jade and cocoa over here. And it's just turned out to be a really awesome palette for me. And I really feel like this would be good for anybody because it also does have a plum and a navy. It's got charcoal, so you could do, you know, a gray smoky eye, brown smoky eye, green smoky eye. You can do anything with this. It's got a silver if you really want to wake up the inner corner or underneath the lashes. And it's a true silver, so um, it's got really good neutrals to choose from. I'm just saying... I would get this one you if you if y'all are thinking of a Lorac besides the Lorac Pro to go. I really love that one. I mean that's just you know because it has blush, it has um, bronzer, two blushes of bronzer and just some real basic shadows. Okay, no surprise that I'm still feeling like I try to make this not my favorite, but it just is, you guys. The Mac makeup wipes they just get it all off it, i can just get everything off my face and then also get off waterproof mascara by sitting there rubbing my finger underneath it like that and it just it comes off it's a little harder to get off waterproof but i love it um i had had the uh bye bye pores by it cosmetics in the um loose powder but this is the uh the pressed powder and I'm really loving it. I have it on now and I feel like it just does a good job of taking at making your face matte, filling in the pores, you know what I'm saying. 
just helps you not look so okay thus that brings up my next favorite y'all i'm not one big on computer games like i know people do words with friends and they do farmville and fruit toss up or something i know don't don't get upset with me but pokemon go man i'm doing awesome i'm at a level oh, i just made level 10 did you hear that that was i made level 10 just then let me tell you what's around me i have four ratatas four pidgeys and a spiro look at my pokemon collection though mm, pretty impressive for a newbie i don't know if you can see that yeah it's pretty good the whole reason that some of you are going why would a grown woman 50 years old or so or less you never know plus uh why would she be playing pokemon go it's just a challenging thing to catch things and and go find pokey stops and then get all your little pokemon balls and everything that you need to do to play it's just almost like words with friends or something it's just kind of a challenge and so it's fun and also because my son said i don't think you'll be interested in this game it's a little old for you and i'm like <laughs> where's pokemon go he's a 19 i'm a 10 hey 10 is pretty good all right so that's my favorite game right now just you have to be very responsible about not driving don't go to cemeteries it seems to be revolving around monuments and churches and that, it's kind of weird um and so monuments are tombstones as well so i don't i'm not sure if it's an algorithm or exactly how they decide because i think even businesses are getting in on starting to be able to purchase um being a pokey stop i don't know but um you know it's aimed at people say to get kids up instead of sitting no it's not it's always going to be about money um so don't ask me about all of it. Just go check it out if you want to play. But it is fun. Uh, but you have to be going to a local mall, a park, a library. Parks really get you a lot. Um, stay away from the cemeteries. They've even had to tell people, uh, if someone's mourning, please do not come in here looking for Pokemon. And it's like, Pokemon, by the way, stands for Pocket Monster. I think it's Japanese. Anyway, I don't know. It's a Nintendo game made by... Uh, Niantic and if you want to find out the details go look it up it is a phenomenon it's like biggest downloaded app in history kind of thing or definitely within two weeks so it's it's interesting it's fun uh, another one of my favorites is a perfume that has revived itself in my collection that I just started honestly because I ran out of Boucheron which I seem to use every day and La Nuit de Bohème by Anna Sui it's this beautiful kind of peony rose uh, and brass I guess they say rose gold, but to me it doesn't look very rose gold. Uh, with the butterfly, y'all know that's my thing. On top, the thing is, it is such a fresh scent. I absolutely love it. A new favorite is this. I uh, hearted. I hearted. I hauled and reviewed this, and now I heart it. It's Tartist, and it is on one end a scroll up um, eyeliner crayon, and on the other end. A liner and so far they have been great and being able to just throw this in my purse one piece that does both I'm gonna see how long it lasts and all of that another new favorite and I hate it because it's so expensive but I got a sample of this multi miracle glow it's a cleanser mask and balm for soft skin and this is from Charlotte Tilbury and guys I'm loving this it smells like I don't know daffodils I don't know what it smells like but Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it made my face the millions and it was so, yes. I will have to say, it's made in Switzerland for Charlotte Tilbury, who works out of London, but now the brand is available here. Guys, I would say this, if you want a really good cleanser mask and balm for soft skin, I would get this. It's not cheap. So, what What do I have that isn't? Here's Chanel, and this is another revived thing that I've fallen in love with all over again. This is the one that, remember, I got this, and it was a boo-boo order. It was supposed to be something else, but I got Tisse Mademoiselle. This is the Les Quatre Ombre. This is the um, four um, color palette in Les Mademoiselle. I'm sorry, Tisse Mademoiselle. It's 214. And you guys, I am loving this. I'm going to have to order another one. I've got so much to know why, 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 because I love it. All right, and then another one. I recently got another one of these because it is so easy on your hair. And this is Wet Brush. And I saw this when I was out with my grandbaby. And I got her <coughs> and her sister one, who wasn't with her. I have two sets of grandbabies, but this this particular side of, of one daughter. Um, 
and it just there, it no tangles it's just i love it love it love it it's wet or dry it's so easy on your hair i know i'm going fast um another thing that i fall in love with is these poppin pens i love them these are the metallic ones um they make you happy to do your work it's just i love them they're smooth they're fun to write in in my day planner another couple of snacks that i'm enjoying is raw almonds and i eat these uh whenever i feel hungry because it's a good protein source and it keeps your metabolism up in between meals but just like a little handful of them and then i'm starting to add to either tea or coffee some all natural honey this is one of my favorites i don't even think this has look it doesn't even have a label which means it's probably got botulism i don't know I don't know. I think honey lasts for a hundred years or something. But anyway, I just put a little bit in my coffee or a little bit in my tea. I especially like it in hot tea. And it just makes it makes me want to drink more liquids, which is good for you. I'm trying to drink more water. I never thought about putting honey in water. That would be kind of gross, actually, it seems like.